Right, so I haven't rode for months, obviously because of A, being laying on the sofa or B, in the hospital. But we're now doing the second track day in the space of a week. So I'm not going to lie, I was bloody sore off Tuesday. It's now Saturday, so it's been Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Four days off, first two days I suffered, which is going to be expectable. Expectable? Accepted, that's the right word. Going to be accepted because even if there was nothing wrong with you and you hadn't rode a bike for four or five months, you're going to be stiff and sore. So I was stiff and sore, but today we're actually at Cadwell Park, if anyone recognises the... We're at Cadwell Park on the same bike, on the same little Aprilia, giving really good weather, so hopefully get some more sessions today. But today I've actually brought my physio, Lee, with me because he wanted to see just like what way I'm sitting on the bike and all the things I complained about on Tuesday, what were sore and why I was sitting like that. So he's come with me kindly enough for the day and uh, we're going to like warm up a bit better. He's got his physio bed and everything with him. So we've got everything with us uh, and someone that knows what they're doing. So all like the warm up material. Got a bed for whatever's gonna happen on there. <laughs> so this is more to pre -end. Get warmed up properly, get in the right position properly, and then me able to explain to Lee what it hurts and how it hurts and when and things like that to try and advance your sessions going forward. Is that a good Absolutely, way? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So it's important to get Lee ready for the first session. Yeah. Because that sets us up for the rest of the day, really. As in life. As in life. Oh, talk about trying to get him out of bed this morning. Fucking these physios. <laughs> Used to start at 10 and ripping poor people off and finishing at 11. I don't get up till it's light. <laughs> yeah. You thought there was only one six o'clock. We're going to miss the first session. It's a little bit damp on the ground right now. So we're going to just miss the first session because there's no real point. The guys are just out doing sighting laps and then we'll probably start at 10. So yeah, that's about right. Then you used to start at 10. About right, yeah, to yeah. be fair, yeah. That's the plan. For all you people that think that motorbike racers uh, get their ass wiped all the time, we're literally here in a van. That's my tool bag. <laughs> Tire warmers, jerry can, bike. That's all you need to do a track day. And uh, for all you Neil viewers, he's actually going to turn up today, or so he says, even though it's a Saturday, supposed to be his day off, he's coming to have a look and see what's happening. Just on a warm up session. Uh, in there with Lee now, so he's gone right through, been on the bed, stretching, stretched off, warmed up properly and everything. And I, I didn't do that properly at Anglesey the other week, because I normally do that all the time when I am racing, because I'm that age now that I need to warm up properly, so I don't know if any of you track day guys do that, or if you don't, or just comment in below what you do, or what you think you need to do and stuff, but if you don't do that, I would advise it, because it makes riding the motorbike a hell of a lot easier. There's one for free. That's just a physio look, we've got him putting his fucking tire warmers on the lot. New mechanic. Yeah, I'm everything. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You make some man a good way. <laughs> Tell Lydia that. Oh, yeah. First session done, and the difference, honestly, from like warming up properly and doing all my stretches and everything was massive. Like, really enjoyed the session at no point. Listen, I'm nowhere near like what I feel like normally on the bike, but compared to even four days ago, five days ago, the difference is massive, so if you're watching this and you learn absolutely nothing else other than stretch and warm up, then there you go, it's been worthwhile. It gives it to be like really hot today, but it's not really breaking through if you see the sky, so it looks a bit grey. The track was a little bit patchy. I'll chuck a Insta 360 on and we can get a lap in as well just to see what it's like. The gear and wrong and I don't know what else, it's some, the bike doesn't feel right setting ways because it's set up for the Northwest 200, which is real heavy braking and stuff, so the front's quite hard. <laughs> like a typical racer making excuses already, but I'm gonna put the Insta 360 on and chuck a lap on for you as well just to see what it's like on the little Aprilia RS660. So these guys have just come up and had loads to say but now they're... Uh, what? No, you have to we speak now. You can't, what, you're going to introduce yourself. My name's Zane. This one's is Jan. my brother Jan. Or Jan. Which one's faster? Always debatable. He's always going to say him but you know, I'm four years older. I've done the wheelie on the mountain already. Oh, well, Same here. I'm only on a 748. Thank you very much, you said you watch the channel. Do you want to give a shout out to anyone back. or be rude to anyone? No, we don't know anybody at all. Anyway, Best nice to meet you. Right Thanks, yeah. boys. Good to see you. I'll be watching. Yeah, you have to watch it now. Look who's turned up. On a Saturday. Neil's turned up on a Saturday. <laughs> Neil, you're not ashamed that the physio was putting the tire warmers on. <laughs> Has he done it right? Do a triathlon with me. But what, in the, the, the feeding part? What, <laughs> what part of the triathlon are you going to do? <laughs> Bought him a bike about three years ago. Ask him how many times he's rode the bike. How many times have you rode it, Neil? Ten times. No, what do you mean, minus nine? Minus ten. 
acceptable. What, in three years? Unbelievable. That's what I'm dealing with. The young lad, there's a lad out there with an old steely CBR 600 white. Yeah, I've seen him, yeah. No steel frame one. Morning done. Three sessions complete. Bit of a hiccup in that session. I don't know why, but the blipper and the quick shifter stopped working. Switched it off, switched it on again, and hey presto, it's just fixed. It's a good job because I've got no actual mechanic here with me. What are you looking at in your phone? This dinner time. <laughs> looking at my missus, Christy. This bird popped up on Instagram. I think she's married. Well, it's, it's huh? a wedding dress on. It's a lucky woman that engineer. Huh? Mad. Ma <laughs> What do you mean? Lucky woman. Lucky woman. It's dinner time now though, so we're gonna go get something to something to eat. Oh you're getting pictures of the bake deal for the old Instagram. Oh he loves it Aprilia really, look at that there. Yeah. Right, 
That is us, day done. Absolutely mint day. Five sessions again, same as Tuesday. Feel a hell of a lot better than I did at this time on Tuesday. And this track's a little bit more physical, probably than Cadwell or than Anglesey because of the change of direction. Had an absolutely awesome blast of a day. I don't know what the right word is. I just fucking love riding my motorbike. Uh, stay dry all day, that's always a bonus. Thanks to Lee for his help because it's made a massive improvement in the way I feel on the bike and stuff, both at home and here. So that's a big help. And to Neil for coming along and then taking the bike back to the workshop for me. So as always, please like and subscribe. See what's happening next.